Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video I want to show you how you can remap a time field so you can have loop or ping pong animation. Now here we've got a few clones and these clones are moved up by using the plane effector. And the plane effector is masked by using the time field here. Now if I scrub the timeline you can see that the animation stops at frame 30 and this is because the rate parameter here in the time field is set to 30 frames and the field list is clamped. Now if we unclamp the field list and scrub the timeline you can see that we can go beyond this 30 frames and therefore beyond 100% weight from the field list. However, in order to remap the whole thing to make a loop or ping pong animation we need to create a modifier layer which is the curve modifier layer. And this one is a little bit special, because it has got a before curve and an after curve parameter. Right now, if I scrub the timeline or press play, you can see that the animation only happens until frame 30. But if I set the after curve, for example, to loop, you can see that the animation repeats over and over again. If I set the whole thing to ping pong, you can see that we have got ping pong animation, so it moves up and down and up and down. And now we can reshape the whole animation by using the curve here. So for example, we can do this and now it would be smooth, so basically a sign animation. But we can also just move this one down and then add a few more and just move them so we got something like this. And if we press play now, you can see that this is our animation. Now, if that's too fast, we can always go back to the time field and adjust the rate parameter to be 60, for example. That will be half the speed. Or we can even use the offset parameter in order to adjust it a little bit more. Because the offset parameter is something we can control with a subfield. So if we unfold the time field here, you see the offset folder for subfields. And if we add a linear field now and adjust its direction to be minus C and place it beneath the offset folder here, we have this. Let's make this field a bit bigger and let's press play. And then you see that this is our animation. Now let's go back to the time field and let's decrease the rate to be 30 frames and now we have this as an animation without any keyframes. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy our quick tips please like, comment and subscribe!